we are on episode eight. Episode eight. We're yeah. still surviving here. Keeping the, keeping the trail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So once again, another week. Uh, thank you very much for being with us. Um, uh, in, in this eighth episode from uh, We Are On, uh, we are here trying to make something to work. <laughs> uh, but aside of trying to make something work around here, um, <laughs> this is just a, a, a weird experiment where we are trying to put ourselves in front of a camp, bring some kind of cool, I don't know, perspective on how we're cool or useful perspective on how to yeah. consume and approach information that we consume. Nowadays that obviously uh, we are bombarded left and right. Uh, we have the super FOMO effect. Uh, so I think it's important for us to be ready um, mentally and emotionally um, how to consume things, uh, how to meditate things and that kind of stuff. That's what we're trying, we're trying to do over here. Uh, also, uh, well, 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 we take usually an, an article as an inspiration and then talk around the article, not about the article. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, we try to give our best uh, of, of our understanding. That doesn't mean that we are experts and we know about the topics that, that we might be talking. It's just a perspective from us, but uh, I think we are accountable for our own views, opinions and, and concepts. But sometimes we might miss something, which is uh, always nice to have feedback, corrections or, uh, or feeding a little bit more the knowledge. Um, and because we are talking about uh, examples also, we also, we, sorry, we, we might be miss some, to say something and you can, uh, everybody can go ahead and yeah. feel that gap, right? Their, yeah, share their, their ideas and their thoughts on that. Yeah. And yeah, so hope, hope, first, hope, yeah. hopefully this is not a safe space. So <laughs> not that we are going to go in this, uh, zero filter no i think it is i i do actually believe that sometimes filters are important if we want to get a message across but at the same time this sure. is, we try not to have a safe space we try to challenge ourselves um just uh before we we start with the first part uh today's topic is going to be more about more, more mumbling more more just talking a little bit about concepts words how they mm -hmm. change and the importance of language uh, in, in, in a way right uh so but before but, that before that we <laughs> gotta share a couple things here uh so we usually try to bring a couple articles that were of our interest and geo brings some of them and i bring some mm -hmm. so the first yeah. one from mr geo is this mm -hmm. thing the sheep that can yeah. photosynthesize Mm -hmm. So that's not actually too brand new, but uh, I got to, to see it. And I mean, that was the most like tender thing I, I, I've seen mm -hmm. during the week. <laughs> so, I mean, basically it's, it's, uh, it's actually cool. It's the, if I'm not wrong, it's the only animal, uh, the leaf shift, uh, it, it is said. Uh, that can um, photosynthesis. Uh, it lives in the in the sea, and well, that, that's it. I mean, what uh, came to my mind was just oh my god, like it's the, actually an cool. island. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is, and it's super tender. I mean, come on, it's super cute. So that's the first thing that came to my mind. <laughs> but then also, which it, it's actually actually very cool that there is an animal that can uh, photosynthesis and lives in the water man so, i'm just looking at the ice yeah, cream over here <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of actually read, funny i go read them <laughs> it's kind of funny that if, if you see the contrast of the image with the ice cream is like on point like it, it was yes funny. because it's purple and green <laughs> <laughs> okay uh the second one scientists created mm -hmm. a human yeah that's crazy I mean, so it seems 
uh, this group of scientists, uh, if I'm not wrong, Chinese and from China and US, uh, they basically um, injected. Uh, I, I will be completely wrong in the term, mm -hmm. so it's better if people uh, check it out. But basically, what they did is <laughs> they they take something human and put that something into this uh, embryo, this monkey embryo, mm -hmm. and they managed to make them live for up to twenty days. Mm -hmm. And so, of course, uh, this is something just wow. Uh, speaking about science, yes, it's I guess. wow. But also, it's wow, yes. but it, I, I don't know. I always, when I read this kind of stuff, I get like, no. <laughs> yes, yes, exactly, exactly, exactly. So that's that's the, basically the point. I mean, uh, in, uh, in one hand, you have this uh, science um, breakthrough. Discover, but on the other hand, there are people thinking, "Are we going too far?" and etc. Et yes, yeah. the, that's the uh, thing. And, uh, let me see. Um, oh, wait. Forever oh, going yeah. circle. I think you only brought two this time, right? I, there I were saw two links. three, but two is fine. I mean, the the, the okay. third one was about uh, Cuba again, okay. since you, you, you loved you it love, last time. You love a, with Cuba. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But this time it was uh, Raul. Um, uh, it, it was the end of the era of the Castro family, right? Because uh, Raul oh, decided to to give up, yeah, <laughs> to give up uh, his power uh, in 2021, and he did. Mm -hmm. So now a new era will start for Cuba. Sure, perhaps we will see. sure. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay. So from my Confused. side. <laughs> uh, from my side, actually, I, I knew about this um, from a friend uh, that is uh, from South yeah. Africa. And this messed oh, up yeah. thing just happened, I read that. right? Yeah. Like, I mean, first yeah. of all, yeah, they do have fires. But uh, the thing which, that she was telling me is that this got into the library of the university that, mm -hmm. that has all these... Damn knowledge from the, Histori from the yes. natives historical yeah a lot of things Fuck. uh yeah it's it's really messed up and uh mm. and yeah she was like it's painful to see painful. yeah I, I i was actually thinking in that what's the other famous one the library of of uh in place. brazil perhaps what happened I, in brazil someone told me the one in brazil um no i don't want to see that <laughs> uh no but i was i was thinking in the alexandria or something like that i don't know oh, but okay. yeah it's right. it's uh yeah i mean i want to believe that they might have some of these things digitalized the but i don't know if they're like, yeah i'm not sure i mean but still i mean having the like you know the original the, the piece of paper is yeah. something different Oh, yeah, but I think uh, whoever is in charge. Yeah, so I, I think that whoever is in charge of this kind of project, they need to get funding and go again with you know, to all the tribes and and gather the historical mm -hmm. verbal mm -hmm. knowledge, right? So yeah, so that's one. The second one is <sighs> leave it to the Americans to. <laughs> <laughs> to make fun, to, to make something fun of tragedies, right? It, it's just ridiculous. I, I really don't want to spend too much time on these oh. articles, but I'm just going to go ahead and scroll as fast as I can. So yes. So, what, what's that about? I mean, if you if you have if you're vaccinated from COVID, mm -hmm. you will get free stuff. That's what they are saying. Mm -hmm. Yes. Like for example, free Budweiser. Or, I mean, I don't know what this San Adams or you prefer. Uh, it's going to be idea. maybe a drink and that kind of stuff. Krispy Kreme, which is donuts. Um, l laminated well, for free. So it's like, so it's been like nicey and all this kind of stuff. Free rides in, in Uber and that kind of stuff. So it's, it's <laughs> this incentive. Well, can <laughs> smoke some free weed. <laughs> well, can I say? Dude! Okay, so this. I, Dude, I might have some it's, point it's awesome. It's for the awesome. US. It's awesome. I mean, yeah. I, I let's let's give them credit. 
Really? Yeah, no, it's because they know how to capitalize everything. But uh, yes. I, I, I want to believe that this is also going to happen around here, you know? So anyway, so that's... I mean, I, if, I, if I were like a, a Novax and there would be a free kebab, man, I would go all the bags that you want. <laughs> sure. sure. <laughs> Anti-vaxxers no more. <laughs> and uh, lastly, uh, let me see what. Mm -hmm. Okay, so lastly is people being hilarious. I, I bought assume. this green. So, yeah, so it's a guy who I think I can put it on full screen. It's a green suit. <laughs> 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 so like, my man, it's it's fantastic. <laughs> but it's... I want that. <laughs> So like, look yeah. at him, look at him. <laughs> of course, yeah, it's professionalism and freedom. Oh it's how God. many absurd things that are happening nowadays because of this? Uh, yeah. So like, yeah, oh amazing. <laughs> so yeah, so those are like uh, the, the the articles that we usually have, right? Uh, now, mm. just as a little bit of recap. Back to business. Uh, yeah. So if uh, someone, some of you, or who who watched the last episode. I brought up this um, a related article. It was not exactly this one, but it's a related article. Uh, it was from a blog that was discussing about what is art and what is um, vandalism, right? And it was this uh, in in South Korea. Uh, it was this piece of art that was under construction, and apparently a couple thought it was a public piece of art. And they decided to give their own collaboration. And that sparked the whole debate uh, about um, if they devalue the piece or did it, um, did it increase the value and that kind of stuff. So obviously that got, got me thinking a little bit um, into all this, like this concept of art. Mm -hmm. But pedaling back a little bit, uh, I start, started with the question of what is uh, language? Yeah. Uh, so language, someone can understand in, in its own way. For example, right now, what do you understand by language? Well, <clears throat> so language is a mean to communicate what's What's in your mind? Bless you. What's in your mind? What you are feeling with someone else? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, uh, it's a way of communicating yourself, basically. Okay. Okay. I mean, it would be interesting to see if, if somebody else can can tell us what it's also mm -hmm. like, like yeah. the pers the conceptualization of language, and that's what gets me sometimes. Like, I, I understand nobody can. Uh, can have like all the information memorized, right? Unless mm -hmm. there's a, a few people. Uh, also, we are constantly, constantly changing. People like to say we are constantly evolving, but evolving for me, it evolution, uh, yeah. it is a concept that it is, uh, um, yeah, is moving forward. But when you're constantly changing is, are you actually getting somewhere? If you move forward, you are getting you are somewhere. You're aiming to somewhere. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. So, but we understand that we are constantly changing. Yeah. And something that has caught up my eye, especially in, in the 2010s, was a lot of discussion from English speaking countries and mostly internet culture is all this uh, changing of the language yeah now before we go into what kind of changes i just want to clarify but we went uh, we went and go through the, and, and, and try to search for the basic concepts that we can find right so obviously right now we are trying to speak in english and the most generalized basic um, source of information um, 
we didn't go uh, we didn't go to the Oxford Dictionary. We just I just went go ahead and, and take the concept mm -hmm. of Wikipedia, right? And they define it as mm -hmm. a language is a structured system of communication used by humans, including speech, gestures, and writing. So that's Wikipedia. Mm -hmm. As a person who assumes to speak Spanish, I went uh, and investigate to the academia that defined the rules of Spanish. And in their definition of language, they have um, they have it as the faculty or more, more like capacity of the human being to express himself and communicate with other through articulate sounds or other systems of signs. Then I see that yeah. uh, you have yours. Yeah, that's mm -hmm, that's the, the, one of the main uh, Italian vocabularies is Trecani. And it's very uh keeps on the same path as the Real Academia Española, which is so the faculty, uh the of the human being to communicate meanings through systems of signs, vowels, or graphs. So basically mm -hmm. it, it keeps maintaining the same path. So yeah, so the three concepts seem to have all these gestures, uh, uh gestures, signs, um and that is kind of like sounds, a consensus, yes. right? But for example, on, on the one that you brought from uh, Trecani, mm -hmm. Trecani. Uh, Trecani, it's kind of interesting that they say the tool itself of expression expression and communication. And communication. So mm -hmm. there will be always two or three concepts that, uh, while they might seem <laughs> the same or <laughs> might direct to the same meaning, they have their own emphasis, right? Mm -hmm. And I think that is, it is kind of cool, kind of interesting to, to see how each language of each culture um, addresses um, this conceptual, conceptualization. Out of my, my head, and, to, and I'm trying to, I'm gonna speed it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, we don't even see the same reality depending on languages. Oh, sure. like, uh, I think between Latin languages like uh, French, Italian, Spanish, uh, Portuguese, the sun is male, yes, mm -hmm. and the yes. moon is female. Yes. It is, yeah. In Germany, is the opposite. I yeah. don't know that. Well, in Ger in, Ger in Germany, is the opposite. So that immediately will tell you the perception of reality. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How it's and so all of that is kind of cool. But the changes in language that I was a little bit more interested about is how <coughs> we modify concepts. Yeah. I, from the top of my head, I can come up with uh, three types. The first one is when you change the fundamental meaning of uh, the concept. There have been a lot of debates with uh, words related to um, uh, social justice, right? Racism is one of those. Gender is another of those. Uh, and specifically, I, I didn't see that. If that was happening in all countries, I would assume it, it was happening. Marriage is another one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then uh, we might have the usage of a word that changes, but this doesn't necessarily changes the meaning, but sometimes it get the meaning it's add up depending on the uh -huh. usage of on the, the people. On the usage, yes. Yeah. Uh, the example over here can be literally. Mm -hmm. uh, in an expression, someone can say, uh, oh, that thing that you just told me you literally blew my mind. So I was like, that's not literally. Yeah. When will it happen? I'm waiting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's like, that's not the actual definition, but here in within the expression it provides an, an an emphasis a message right which is it was incredible that's what uh, mm -hmm. the whole thing is uh, another word that is being like overused uh, in the, the way we use it is epic yeah now mm -hmm. you can have an epic uh, 
party and that kind of stuff. But the word epic tends to be reserved for more bigger scale kind of stuff. And I do believe that the word epic came out, and this is only a very big assumption, came out after the movie Braveheart. Because the movie Braveheart was okay. one of the newest, at a time, epic mm -hmm. movie genre. Yeah. Okay. You have back in the 60s or 50s, like these epic movies with mm -hmm. hundreds of extras, right? Then that stopped okay. and, and Braveheart brought it up, I think, 1994 again. Uh, and ever since you have all these movies that tend to be with massive armies and that kind of stuff and the epic genre was consolidated and from that we started using the word epic as something great well, finally that's finally sure. <laughs> i mean <laughs> that's just an assumption again that's an assumption yeah yeah i mean finally we go into the what I will call the non-consensus words. The first example mm -hmm. that I will say is in biology. You have the word species. What is a species? So generally people will understand as an animal. They're like the one that you show, the cutesy tootsie sheep. Um, that's a species. But apparently it goes beyond that that uh, there are certain characteristics, biological characteristics, who might or might not define something as a species. The closest thing is, is it alive? Yes or no? And the debate has become when some people have tried to categorize um, viruses mm -hmm. as a species. <clears throat> and the thing is that viruses are not necessarily living things. And funny thing, defining something that is alive, it's also a concept that is complicated at certain mm -hmm. levels, right? And finally, the one that, I, that, I, that, that I've been trying to bring it up, art. Mm -hmm. So art is, it's, the, it, it's, a, it, it's a little stone in my, in my shoe, right? Because it has always... Um, being like a, every, I have never heard of actual consensus in that word. Definition. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So just from your, the top of your head, what would art be to you? So I will bring a, a reply that I got from a friend of mine. And she's actually working in, in an art environment. So she's working with art. Mm -hmm. And she brought up this very quick definition. So uh, art is a way to materialize human essence. Okay. Oh. The human Quite essence. Cool. Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. It sounds mm -hmm. reasonable. Yes. Uh -huh. I'm gonna give. I'm gonna give you. Uh, you got. Yeah. You have another one. No, no. Please, yeah. please go. Okay, so I have one person. Mm -hmm. Because obviously, I got. I made the same question, and obviously, I got the clever ones that were saying art is fart. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, but the I have a friend that I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I had a friend that went like really inspirational. She said, "Art is everything. I think art doesn't need uh, any more any more white walls and silence. Art went to the streets. Art entered into our apartments. Art walked to universities and offices. Uh, became part of our society." The most important, the art is still about creation. It's kind of weirdly written, but she basically wrote a poem. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so well, that's a long definition. Um, I, I think it goes, it, she defined it at the beginning. Art is everything. Everything, yes. So this is art. This is, yeah. Yeah, I mean, this is art. I don't know if you have another example. Yeah. No, that's. I, I just wanted to bring up the, that one. Oh, okay. But we can see, like, for example, um, for these two, with these two examples, we can already see how they differ. Like, if we speak about, we, I asked for the definition of art, mm -hmm. and I guess you asked the same. So you you made the same question. 
and we got to uh, to answer that uh, that seems that has nothing to do one with the other. So already based on on those two examples, we can see how difficult it is uh, mm-hmm. defining art mm-hmm. because each person can have their own perspective. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that's the whole deal is this ambiguous, ambiguous mm-hmm. kind of way to define things, right? Uh, <laughs> so yeah. Now, to sp- with that said, I want to bring something over here. Again and again and again. So this is a quiz to define what is art and what is not. So you will be presented with a photograph and you Mm -hmm. will tell us if it's art or it it is not. Okay. Okay. So let's go. So is this art? Yes or no? No. Well, it was (laughs) art or not. (laughs) Well, that's art to me. (laughs) Okay. That's art to you. So it is art, but I call I, I call bananas over there because they, you you just guessed. It. Is that art or no? Oh no! No. No, it's not art. It's a skateboard. So art or not? Yeah, perhaps the light. No. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I nice. mean, so I'm just yes, guessing. It is. Uh-huh. No, that's not. That's just from Ikea. <laughs> <laughs> it was from Ikea. <laughs> <laughs> that might be. That might be. Okay. Uh-huh. Oh, that's that's for sure. That's some kind of art I don't understand, but it must be hard. <laughs> <laughs> That's the same as the other one, but without being art. <laughs> no art? That's no art. Piece of paper. Um, oh. And then, yeah, that's very art. <laughs> Man, I'm just guessing. I'm just good at guessing. That's not. <laughs> that's not? It is. That, oh, was, that, on. that one was easy. That's my well, that, that one also. Then this one must be. <laughs> no, it's not. It's just a pile of trash. Oh, <laughs> no. It is hard. <laughs> no, that's for sure not. It's a crack, a crack house. No. <laughs> yes. It is. Uh Yes. Oh. <laughs> yes. Just for, yes. Just for the background. Yes. yes. Okay. No, come on. No. It was. <laughs> well, that's some. This is the Declaration story. of Independence. That's that's history of art. Art? Mm, no, that's no. history. Mm-hmm. Okay. What the hell is that? Oh, uh, the other one is no. This one is yes. <laughs> you got less than. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, well, I mean, I mean you, you were good. You were good. Well, I'm a good guesser. <laughs> So that, yeah, so then that, that will take me a little bit into the, what made you, uh, let me bring it up like, I don't know, no, I cannot bring it like that. So yeah, so while I, well, I, you're telling me that you guessed, mm-hmm. uh, we're short over here. What made you think it was something, something was art or not? Was there something? Well, yes. As I was saying, uh, in some cases, it's like the lighting, the background, uh, the surroundings. In some uh-huh. other cases, uh, there is like the installation itself. Mm-hmm. 
So there is one when I say, no, that's not art, but it was. And I thought about that. Uh, yeah, perhaps the way they are, uh, they are put together is not casual. It's not, mm. they made that on purpose and you can see. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean that I, I mean, that I consider that art. I just see that there is some thought uh, yeah, behind some that. Thought behind. Yeah, okay. that's a very okay. good one. That's a very good one. That's actually kind of how I also, um, when I, because I did it, mm -hmm. there were two things. If I see that there's some actual lighting or preparation, it's like, okay, this could be. Mm -hmm. And immediately, if I sense, don't ask me how, if I sense some kind of pretentiousness, <laughs> I say, that's our. That's the, that's the... <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, uh, just to close it up over here, I mean, to, go, to leave it in a weird note, it was like, how interesting is that you might not have consensus in certain words. And so, we, for me, especially with art, I have to really restrain myself emotionally because I, I am really like very judgmental in that kind of way. Maybe I do not have the capacity to understand this yeah. kind of stuff. Or maybe I, I, I am agree. right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's, that's it. Really, that's literally the same thought that comes to my mind. I mean, when I go to, to a museum or somewhere and see some piece of art, and perhaps it's modern or contemporary art. I'm just mm -hmm. like, maybe I'm too rational. I will never get it. I mean, I don't know, really. So I think, See. yes, in some, perhaps is, is the cool thing about art mm. is that um, each individual, it is, um, let's say, hit differently. That's uh, for what a couple of friends had explained to me. That's a way to present art. But then you have mm -hmm. the other one uh, that is that tends to be more structuralized. But mm -hmm. anyway, because yes, we are on time, we will continue uh, a little couple more minutes uh, in the after recording. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so but, it's uh, just to keep in mind that sometimes, like it's it's important. I think that communication at the end doesn't matter if it's scientific or if it's this artistic thing if it's intended to be communicative and communication can be thrown in many ways over here we're just talking about definitions and language uh, uh, at least would be nice that it that it was clear and 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 to a point uh, but some people also find very attractive the ambiguous uh of certain things right and this is a type of thing that can challenge us onto our tolerance to things right because sometimes we don't like um how a concept is defined and that kind of stuff uh, so very important that when we are reading about something or seeing someone talking a topic is trying to understand how that people define certain concepts to be in the same page Right. So that's that's my closing statement. Yeah. So that's it. Yeah, we're you, you yeah that's it. I mean, oh, we're yeah, on. It's like yeah, 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 just, I, yeah I just I just have to go and punch the bag over here. I, I just want to I just want to leave open the the argument. Oh wow, I, how artistic of you! So then, as Gio said, we were on. Thank you very much uh, to <laughs> whoever uh, watches, and we'll go back mm. next week. Next bye bye. Week. Yes. Peace.